All right, we had to stop the video, and this is part two. We where we left off is we were um, we were rebooting the machine, so we took out the bobbin, bobbin case, cleaned out in here, and uh, we are about to change the needle. I love to use a nickel because it just works perfectly on that little screw right there. So I'm changing the needle just to make sure that the needle isn't what's causing the problem. On these machines, it's recommended that you use an organ embroidery needle, and this is the ballpoint. Uh, if you are stitching on a stretch fabric, you want to use ballpoint needles. And when you insert the needle, you want it to go all the way up into there and you tighten the screw tightly. Okay? Don't just finger tighten it. You need to tighten it tight with a screwdriver or a nickel. Okay? New needle is in. I'm going to reinsert the bobbin holder, triangle, and dot are matching up. Put the spray cover back on. Now, uh, also, you want to make sure you're using the correct bobbin. This is a Class 15 bobbin. We sell these pre-wound. You can also purchase the Brother Embroidery Bobbin Thread and wind your own. You want it to go in with the thread coming off counterclockwise. Hold your finger on there as you're winding it around, and it gets into the tension slit. Okay. If your bobbin thread does not go into the tension slit, you will have white bobbin showing on top. Another reason why you might have white bobbin thread showing on top is if your thread that you're stitching with gets caught up here, perhaps twisting around the spool pin, like so, behind your spool cap. If it gets twisted behind there, behind your spool cap, it has a hard time coming off. So it will pull the white bobbin thread up to the top. That's why I don't like to use a spool cap, because I want to see that my top thread is spooling off evenly and nicely like it's supposed to. Threader works, that's awesome this little guy back on and we're ready for our test. Let's turn it on. A, B, C. your foot down after you've threaded the machine and then press go. Sometimes you may want to stop the machine and clip this tail so that it doesn't get sewn into your project or wrapping itself around the presser foot. Get a close up for me. Okay, so right now, the machine's doing great. It looks like we have a nice stitch. It is making a little bit of noise underneath. Um, this customer does want this machine to be serviced, and I think it probably does need to be serviced. But you always want to be using your, your eyes and your ears while you're stitching. Your ears are going to tell you that you're about to have a problem before your eyes will. So far, so good. We don't have any white thread showing on top. And after it finishes this A, we will check out the bottom and see if we have any looping on the bottom.
spooling off nicely, we don't even need a spool cap. So why introduce a problem causing device if you don't need to? Okay, it finished the A. I'm going to press stop and cut my bottom thread and check out the back side. And the back looks great. We have a nice uh, sandwich here between top thread, bobbin, top thread. Tension looks great uh, on the back and on the front. So again, I uh, think that this customer's problems could be solved very easily at home by uh, making sure that the bobbin is inserted correctly and that the top is threaded correctly. I will say that she started out here with the bobbin working just fine. As you can see on the back, she has a nice little sandwich there. It was working just fine, but with the SE400, I do know from experience that oftentimes the bobbin will, you know, when, when uh, you finish a letter and it cuts the thread, sometimes that uh, bobbin will come out of its tension area, this little slit there, and it would just need to be reset. Um, so it, it, it does sometimes jump out on this particular machine. Also, I think that the looping that she had on top was probably due to the fact that there is a little bit of buildup in the tension discs. And so it was good for her to bring it in for service. We will take this off. He actually takes the covers off the machine and he will grease it and he will oil it and he will make sure that there's nothing in the tension area. He does a lot of work on the machines when he is servicing them to make sure that everything's running smoothly. He'll put it all back together and he will run another test to make sure everything is working great. Thanks.